If you ask Army Specialist Kevin Ware about the day he was injured in Afghanistan, you might be surprised by the answer. I don't remember a lot of the day that all that happened. I've seen some videos, but um, I don't remember the few days before that. His wife, Leah, on the other hand, remembers exactly where she was and what she was doing the moment she found out Kevin had been injured. And I was driving my sister's car and um, my phone rang and it was a Kansas number and it was the captain from rear detachment. And um, I didn't really know who he said he was at first because I was driving and I said, hi, how are you? And he was like, is this Miss Ware? And I said, yeah. And he said, are you busy right now? I said, no, I'm driving a car. And right then, my heart started pounding, and you know, I knew. I was like, why am I getting a phone call from you? And my first words to him were, are, is he dead? And he said, no, but he's in critical condition. An IED had blown up the vehicle Kevin was riding in. Because of the severity of the explosion, Kevin suffered a traumatic brain injury. He was in a coma for about a week and then battled amnesia for several months after the incident. I didn't, I didn't know my mom or my wife or any of the kids. And my mom and my wife would ask me every day, what's my name, who am I? And finally one day I said, you're my mother. And then Leah asked me the same question. Hey, she got really excited, who am I, who am I? And I said, you're the lady that makes the beds. <laughs> the lingering effects from the explosion are still prevalent today. Constant migraines, bad eyesight, and persistent pain in his leg and ankle. But Kevin forges on, trying to provide for Leah and their five children. Now that job will be easier as Kevin and his family have a mortgage-free home of their own. That takes such a load off my chest because uh, we lived in military housing ever since we I joined the Army. And once I get out, we're going to have to find a new home. And that's just such so much stuff off my chest. It's overwhelming. It's going to mean um, less stress on me and Kevin because I don't think he'll be able to work again. And um, so it's going to take a big load of, off our chest, and um, we'll be able to spend more quality time with our children. The Wares were presented the key to their new home during the UTSA football game on Military Appreciation Day. In front of thousands of people, they received a standing ovation, forcing Kevin to choke back the tears. It's just overwhelming. I, I was trying not to tear up, and uh, still am. It's been almost like a dream, you know? Like getting the key to the home and experiencing that, we got in a really nice suite and we've never experienced anything like that, so it's been a dream come true. Kevin and Leah are happiest for their children, who will now get to have their own rooms. There has even been talk of already wanting to get a trampoline for their new backyard. No matter what goes in or outside of the home, the wares know all that counts is that they are in a place of their own as a family.